Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! A moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Hey, where'd you get that cool balloon? Over there. Oh man. Don't cry over lost balloons. There's more than one way to make a balloon float. Huh? I'm talking about hot air balloons. Let's look at why hot air balloons float. Pretend this is our hot air balloon. When cool, the air inside and outside is the same temperature, so it won't float. But when heat is added, the molecules of air inside the balloon move around faster and faster, causing the balloon to expand. As it expands, the air molecules inside the balloon are able to spread further apart. Some even leave the balloon. The end result is that the number of molecules per given space inside the balloon is less than what is outside the balloon. In other words, the density of air inside the balloon is less than outside the balloon. This allows the balloon to float. Let me show it to you a different way. We're going to make a hot air balloon using tissue paper. Start by cutting out pieces of tissue paper to make your hot air balloon. You need to cut two different shapes, the first being a long trapezoid with ends that are 20 inches and 4 inches with a length of 26 inches. You're going to need six of these pieces. The second trapezoid has ends that are 20 inches and 1 inch with a length of 16.5 inches. You'll need six of these. Next, glue the 20 inch ends of a short and a long together, creating a sort of diamond shape. Repeat with all the other pieces of tissue. Now glue the long edges together to create a long sheet. Next, glue all the short edges together. This will create the basic shape of the balloon. Finally, glue the two ends of the sheet together to complete your balloon. Next, you need to add ballast. I like to use paper clips. Ballast is a weight added to the bottom of a balloon. Why do you need ballast? Remember, the hot air is less dense and wants out, and it will do so by flipping over the balloon. The paper clips add weight to prevent it from flipping over. Once the ballast is added, all that's left is to fill the balloon with hot air. We used a special hot air blower, but a good hair dryer set to high heat and high speed will do the trick. Once it's nice and full, let go! This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.